Hey, so welcome back to another episode of Wee Wee Bills. So uh, now what we're gonna do is, since the last episode what we did was just pull off all the radiator and all that stuff. So now for this car you can see the alternator and, and the compressor is already off this car. So what I'm gonna do is basically remove everything from the next car that's outside, remove all of those and put all of that stuff on this car. So with this episode it's just gonna be a lot of removing off that car, putting off, putting on this car. The only thing is this car is a little bit different. This car does not have a, a belt tensioner or a an extra pulley, but that car does, and I don't know the reason why. So, but anyways, we're gonna hop straight into this video. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to grab yourself some merch from WeBuilders.com. Let's hop straight into this video. All right, so what you see us having right here is removing every single part that we need off this parts car. So we're removing the alternator, the compressor, all the AC hoses, all the coolant hoses, because every little thing we need to make it worth the while. And it's the co most cost effective way of us not really overspending on this build. So as you can see, everything is being removed from this car so that we could put every single part on. We also took off the pulley as well. Okay, so now you see how it's done on that car over there. So all you're gonna see me, I could kind of explain most of the stuff that I used was basically um, um, 13 and 10. So for this right here, it's gonna be a 10. And all you, so this pin, just make sure this pin lines up so it could go in this hole correctly, right? So before, I think, yeah, so this goes on first then I have the compressor installed so what I'm gonna do is just basically put this on I still there the alternators removed from this one so I'm gonna try to put this in see if I can get it down some more It's kind of hard, so I gotta wiggle it in a little bit. So, finally got it to as close as I can. Boom. So now, with this one, all I'm using is a 10. So all I gotta do for this one, is just to install it with a 10 millimeter socket. So I could grab this extension real quick so I have more leverage. should have did see if I could turn it how far I could turn it to and see if I have the leverage or I'm gonna have to get the small the short tent so I'm not trying to tighten it too tight because I don't want, remember this is plastic and I really don't want to break it since we're slightly getting everything off the other car and it, it saves us a lot of money. So now that is on, we already know that there there is one hose that goes to, so you're gonna have one hose that goes to right here and then the other hose will go to the um, the reservoir bottle or the coolant bottle. And then this will go straight to a radiator. So now, before I do anything else, 
I'm gonna see if I could put the compressor in in this spot right here so this one is a 13 and then the rest is 10s and don't forget the sequence and remember this wire should be behind the compressor so all you got to do is just slide it on and it goes straight in so remember this is for the 13 up top then you have this one is a 10 but this one goes to the bottom and then this other 10 goes to the right side of the compressor I'm not trying to tighten everything just yet. I'm just getting all the bolts as, as far as I can all the way down before I really start to get things tightened. So the next thing I think now I'm gonna do is the alternator. What I can do that I realized that I, as I said, this one, what you could see, you could look it was only the compressor, this pull, this water pump pulley right here, and then the alternator was here. So on the other engine, there's another pulley right here and the tensioner behind here. So even though this one don't have it, I'm thinking about putting it on. Cause I mean, why not? It makes it easier. It's just that this belt is small and the other one on the other car is much larger. Alright, so compressor is in. So tighten these bolts right now. Alright, so these bolts are tightened. The next thing, as I said, I'm gonna be going on now is just to make sure I put some of these hoses on just to like make sure that I'm making uh, progress as I go along. So remember, this hose is for that reservoir bottle. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna put this hose on right here. For the starter, since the other one looks much nicer, I think I'm gonna take this this plastic one off the other one and put it on this one. So it, it, it could look much nicer instead of this bent up one or this damaged one. Hey, so we had to stop for a quick minute. They, they end up getting a huge gush, gush of wind and it kind of break our little tent. See, but well, we got most of the stuff off the car already. Now what we're gonna do is uh, try to put everything on. I even take the, 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 tension, uh, the tension pulley off and the extra pulley also. So hopefully I get those to the right torque spec or I'm gonna just look it up and then make sure we put all of that stuff on because I'm trying to see if I can get everything back on today. The only thing is there's an issue with, with some things, but I'll show you real quick. Stuff that we may have some issues with is this piece. You see how we kind of bend back? Some of us kind of have a sledgehammer and bring it forward. The same thing with this side, they kind of push back. This little bolt right here, I gotta, I gotta weld it in. So just those are the small little things that's basically left. But once I put everything in, 
then I'm gonna just see how it goes from there. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, so these are all the stuff that we have that we basically took off the other car. Those are the broken parts over there. So what I'm gonna start with right now, I'm gonna start by just doing the pulleys, and then once I don't do the pulleys, then the next the next one. So this one right here uh, is a 13, as you can see right here. It's a 13. Th this extra pulley, I know it's a 10, but this is a it's, no, it's not a 10. It's a seven or an eight, one out of the two. But I gotta put this on first in the back and then put the other pulley right up the front right there. Because the other pulley goes right here and then the other one goes to the back. So what I'm gonna do is put y'all on a quick time lapse and then so we could start this and finish it. Because what I'm trying to do is just make sure I removed everything. Now I'm trying to replace it and put the new things on on this car. So let's go. So now you can see we have most of the stuff installed all of these hoses kind of clipped in so far the throttle body and everything kind of clipped in I broke this clip so this one is coming off easy so I just gotta take one from the other one but I think I broke that one so I just have to pull it from this if anything from the other car uh, you can see that the hoses so this might be bent a little so that's why it's rubbing so I don't know if I should slowly bend it back but I don't want to break it uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the alternator in put the alternator in the cover for the alternator and then connect up everything and basically reroute what I need to reroute and then basically the only thing that would be left to put in would be the radiators so let's go right here in this side of the video it the camera was kind of shift but as you could see a little bit of me basically removing some of the wires so that I could just put it back in the man manifold right here is when I was struggling to put the alternator back in the car but I had to use a mallet to basically knock it down back into place so then I could get those holes to line up correctly and make sure everything has been seated back properly so that we don't have any hiccups while driving. All right, so my camera kind of died. You know, since it's so hot, it ended up turning off. But I ended up getting everything on. The alternator, I put the thing that I got from the other car, the, the, the covering thing, it's connected right there. The compressor, so all of that is now connected. The only thing, as I said, I'm worried about, so I'll probably just cut a piece of rubber from this old one 
and just kind of put around so it doesn't rub and mess up. But I mean, so far everything is already connected and everything is good. The throttle body, body is in. It's just as I, what you saw me doing in the time left is just putting the, this piece onto here. And then basically I just used the three screws that goes right here and then screw in that piece. Made it easier. So, and all of these bolts down here, I got them in. So all of that is done. The only thing now I'm gonna try to do is remove this filter and see if let some oil leak out and something. And then once the oil leaks out of that, then uh, I might put a new filter on. And then, cause what I wanna do, I kinda wanna start the car and have it running for a while, but I still need to get the, get this bolt kinda fixed. So I need to do a little bit of welding for that. But apart, I gotta clean up because it's really messy right now. So that should be it for this episode because we got most of the stuff done. It's it's ready to to go. Honestly, the next step is just basically making sure those bolts line up or what I could do too is line up whatever bolts I could line up and see what happens and then go from there as you know this is a wrap for this episode on we rebuilds we got a lot of stuff done I mean sorry about the heat because the heat ended up killing the camera or turning off the camera so I couldn't show you how to basically do all of this but it's just basically the, those three bolts that you saw me remove uh, from the earlier one for the compressor. Um, there's two bolts for this, and it was kind of hard. <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of hard to feed those two in. But once I feed those in, and then the an easy way to do it before you remove the belt, just to, not so you can remember, is take a picture. I didn't. So hopefully it's right the way I robbed the belt. But I ended up using the belt from the other car and taking, transferred the pulley and all the stuff from the other car. It made it easier because this belt was a lot smaller. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to grab yourself some merch from WeWeBuilds.com. Hey, this build is all, almost coming to an end. But, anyways, stay positive, stay motivated. I'll catch you in the next one.